Hey guys, my name's Trisha. Um, I'm joined with Sarah. We work at the ICE Center at St. Louis Children's Hospital. Um, we are joined today by Anna, who is 11. Um, we are going to show you how to make um, a safe Eclipse viewing box for the kiddos on Monday. Um, the easiest thing to do is to go to your um, cereal cabinet and grab a empty box of cereal. Um, parents, guardians, you will be the ones that will cut two holes at the very top of the cereal box, just like this. Um, when you're all done, you just grab a white piece of paper, set the cereal box down, trace the bottom and cut it out. This is going to go directly in the very, very, very bottom of the box. And that is exactly what the eclipse is gonna be projected on. So you just stick it all the way down there. You can glue it down there, you can tape it down there, but it usually stays pretty good and tight. Did we get it? Yes. So it'll look just like that. When that's all done, we're gonna grab a piece of tape and we're gonna just tape this up right here so it stays nice. After that, you wanna grab some aluminum foil. Uh, we folded this about four different times just so it's a little bit sturdier. Um, the hole that you wanna have is a, approximately three millimeters. Um, we were lucky we had a hole puncher, so we punched a hole in it. Um, so you can make a hole with a nail, a thumbtack, anything like that. What you wanna do is just try to keep it somewhat in the center of that opening. And what we're gonna do is we're just going to wrap it around. You wanna grab some tape, Anna. And we're gonna tape this to our cereal box. And that is basically all you have to do to make a safe solar eclipse cereal box projector. So once your cereal box um, Eclipse viewer is ready, um, when the kids go outside, what they're gonna do is they're actually gonna have their back facing the sun. Um, so the Eclipse is gonna come this way. What they're gonna do is they're just gonna hold the projector up um, and they're gonna view in the box this way. They're gonna have to probably move the box around a little bit just to find where the sun is coming in perfectly. Once the sun comes in perfectly, they're going to have the the whole solar eclipse projected on that white piece of paper. So if you don't have the time to make uh, the cereal box projector and you were able to get your hands on the Eclipse 2017 uh, viewing glasses, a couple things that we do want to recommend to make sure that they fit the children properly um, and there is no peaking um, during the eclipse. Um, the first thing that you wanna do is just make sure that they are ISO certified. It should say ISO on one side and they should also have the CE certification on the other. Other. Um, so what we found out when these glasses came out is that they don't fit really anyone properly. Um, we also found out that they do not fit kids at all. Um, so what we found out is once we put them, Anna has glasses here, so it's gonna be a little bit better for her. But Anna, if you just kind of glance down, you kind of see they really don't fit. So all of that area is gonna be open to the kids peeking. Um, and what we decided is that we just took a ordinary white paper plate. Um, we set the glasses on the plate, just like this. And obviously parents, guardians, please do this. You can cut out little places for the arms, little places for the viewing, and then cut out for the nose. So what you wanna do is you basically want the domed part to be facing out so it is nice and snug for the kids. So basically when we're done, it's gonna look just like this. Then we're gonna place it just the same way that we did before. And that rubber band can come around and slip on the other side of the arm. And then go ahead and Anna kind of look around. There is no gaps. They cannot peek around. They're gonna be completely safe to view the eclipse on Monday.